not working is it? I am a great believer in all those things that can't be explained. Like uh, when you get up in the middle of the night and someone's left the toilet seat up and you fall right in to the toilet and also when you open a fridge and there's no fucking food in it. But there is someone even deeper into the spiritual world than me and his name is Steve Huff the camera blogger. The Leica SL2S. He has a spirit box and he can talk to dead people through it. A bit like being on the phone to Nikon customer services. What is your name? Jesus Christ. Who is on the bed with me right here? Jesus. Let's establish that line of communication. Okay, hold on. In his most popular hour, over 9 million people watched his video about a dead rapper. Now, that's more people than watched the royal wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle on BBC iPlayer. Steve Huff, the ex-camera blogger and ghost botherer, must surely have an insight into why Canon are crippling their 5-axis image stabilisation performance with manual focus lenses. Because he speaks to people who went to hell for very bad things indeed. All the time, basically, he just he phones them up. And let me tell you, they're not best pleased down there, either, by the sounds of it. Quite scary, really, when he does get them on the phone. Not a pleasant conversation. Okay, so down here is where apparently... Wow, look at that window spider yeah, webs there. Yeah. There are all kinds of bitter, twisted, tortured souls down there talking to Steve Huff, the ex-camera blogger. They did a lot wrong on purpose and thought they'd get away with it. Which is why they're now in the infernal flames of hell. Nothing but a Canon EOS R5 to shoot with. It being so hot down there, they can't even get more than two seconds of 8K. And they look at you like Jenna Ortega when you ask them if they tried the line skip in 1080p mode instead. The people who cripple features at Canon are also down there and they're suffering. And they're on the phone to Steve. So I've decided as part of my upcoming EOS R7 review to try and interview them. What... What in their lives on earth led up to them being involved in the dark arts? In order to communicate with them down there, I have had to come up with a spirit box myself, basically. I, I also did try the, the red hydrogen phone, uh, but all I could hear on the other end was Lance Armstrong sniffing coke off a hooker, complaining that he can't find his yellow jersey anymore. So I got this spirit box. Um, hang on, let, let me just go and get it working. All right, I got, I got it. Um, the only problem is can't see the fucking auto cue now. Oh, hang on, wait. I can, I can hear something, but it's all in Japanese, unfortunately. Um, oh no! Wait, hang on. I can. I think I can understand some, some tormented words coming through. Tony, to Tony, spite, spiteful. EOS HD. 
EOS are free. Some voices are overlapping. There's laughter. Oh no, that stopped. I hear footsteps now. Footsteps. He's he says he's a lawyer. Uh, he's asking me some questions now. Hang a minute. Is there any money in here? No. He's he's asking me questions. Um, he mentions lenses. Do I work for Seven Artisans? Autofocus. What? Autofocus protocols for RF mount. Samyang. It's gone quiet now. It's all very, very, very unclear what the what the Canon employee is trying to tell me. But I think um, I think I can have like a wild guess. Ah, not turned on. That's why. I often think that animals are very closely related to ghosts. Actually, sneaky, sneak around in the background looking for food and stuff. That's exactly what I would do. I was a ghost. I would come back and I'd be extremely hungry.